Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Hanbin. Today I wanted to talk about how I got a scholarship from NUS, specifically the NUS Midterm Sports Scholarship. Now I'm not really boasting about my scholarship or whatsoever, I just wanted to share with you guys the whole process of the application, how I got it and the lessons that I learned from this entire process. So this was actually in year two. I didn't apply for any scholarships in year one or before I entered NUS because I didn't actually think that I would be able to get a scholarship. Just for some context, I got 80 rank point and you know, I wouldn't say that I'm very academically inclined. So yeah, this was in year two when I saw an email that was inviting students to apply for the NUS midterm sports scholarship. At first, I didn't really think much about it. I was actually quite hesitant because you know, who am I to think that I'll be a scholar, right? And I was actually quite doubtful about, about myself. However, I did satisfy some of their qualifications that they stated such as, you know, being an athlete in NUS and holding leadership position. So yeah, I applied for it and I did decorate my personal statement quite a bit which specifically included being a beach volleyball national athlete. Also holding leadership positions in NUS specifically vice captain of the IVP volleyball team and also having you know somewhat of a consistent year one result. So yeah I just applied for it and I didn't think too much and two months later surprisingly I got an email back. I was actually shortlisted for their interview. Now at this point I was definitely shocked and I didn't actually expect to get a reply but I just went ahead with it. I knew the first thing that I had to do was to prepare for the interview and I knew I had to be resourceful so the first step I took was to reach out to my sports manager in NUS. So this sports manager was actually the manager for our volleyball however we didn't have a very close relationship with her although we did spoke to her occasionally for you know volleyball events or anything to do with the volleyball team and this step of reaching out to her was actually very crucial because I later on found out that she was actually well aware of me being shortlisted because all sports manager in NUS have to be part of this shortlisting process. On top of that, although she doesn't have the final say in the scholarship selection decision, she did mention to me that she will be in the panel of judges for the interview. And this to me was the key because there was so much information that I could get from her. And so I continued to have a long conversation with her and although she didn't reveal to me the specific questions that they were going to ask during the interview, we did have a good conversation about the type of people that they are specifically looking for. And we slowly dwelled into that when I started to ask them about the future plans of the entire sports committee and the sort of culture that they are trying to build within NUS. And then later on, I specifically asked her the characteristics and the traits that they were looking out for for the NUS midterm sports scholarship candidate. So I asked that not because I wanted to mold myself into the specific character that they were looking for but instead I wanted to ask this question because it would allow me to highlight the specific events and examples within my life that would bring out these characteristics that were already in me. Secondly, I then approached a friend of mine who was also a sports scholar in NUS and I think we can just call him Will. So I hit Will up and I told him about my situation, about how I was you know, um, shortlisted for the interview and I needed help in the preparation of it and wow he was really helpful so we met up for breakfast that day and he just explained to me how he prepared for the entire interview and he told me about the specific questions that they asked him how he answered them and this really helped me in my entire preparation as well. He even reaffirmed the information that my sports manager was telling me about the specific character and traits that they were looking out for and he told me about how he used examples in his life to bring out these specific characteristics and yeah this really helped me in the preparation for my interview. So with this solid amount of information I went for the interview and I, I guess I crushed it because um, a few months later I got an email back from them and I managed to get my sports scholarship. So yeah, basically there are just two main lessons that I wanted to bring out here through my experience and that is firstly always shoot your shot, you know I didn't actually think that I would be a scholar at the start but you know you won't know if you will be successful unless you give it a try and secondly don't just work hard work smart you have to learn to be resourceful and never be afraid to reach out to the people around you for help because you don't know the amount of information that they can provide you many people I know usually won't even reach out to their inner circle for help so yeah that's all for this video. I hope you took something out of this. But yeah, if this video helped you, be sure to give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.